Hello, people of YouTube. I'm John, and welcome to N-Scale Friday. Today I have a model from Atlas, so let's go over to the workbench and take a look. All right, here's what we're looking at today. This is an Atlas Master NE6 caboose. And if you look on Atlas's website, you'll see that these go for $32.95. This particular model is decorated for Chicago Northwestern. And because it's in Atlas's Master Series, it has better detail than what you might expect. So let's take a closer look. All right, so according to Atlas's website, there are actually two different body styles. And one of them is the New Haven body style, where the windows are spaced closer to the cupola. And the other one is the nickel plate body style, where the windows are spaced further away from the cupola. As you can see, the rails on the ends here are very finely painted. And I have to say, looking at the paint with the magnifying visor, it's flawless paint. The paint job on this caboose is really good. Also, the logo looks especially good. This logo right up in here. It looks like, well, let's just put it this way. Pad printing has come a long way. But really what I want to point out is how the paint treatment on the rails on the side make them look like separately applied parts. And then you can also see from this angle, that's a separately applied smoke jack over here. Pretty cool. Taking a closer look at this end, you can see that this whole end piece appears to be a separately applied part that goes on to the end. And something I'm really enjoying here is how the paint is done on the step wells, where the yellow is on the face of the step, and then the green is on the surface of the step. That looks really good. Also, the paint along the rails here, I think, looks really good. And on this side, you can also see that the handrails that are up against the model in here are painted the same way as the side handrail, which makes them look like separately applied parts. Something else, I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but all the windows in this caboose have glazing. So you would not have to add any window glazing to this. And then also from this angle, you can see this is one of Atlas's knuckle couplers. And here's a shot from the other side of that end. And here we see the other side of the caboose. Again, having a close look at the paint job. It looks really good. And here's the other end. You know, on cabooses, for me at least, it's always hard to tell which one is supposed to be the A end and which one's supposed to be the B end because they both have brake wheels. So I always assume and I may be wrong about this, but I always assume that the end where the smoke jack is closer to it should be the B end. Because think about that. If the train is traveling in the direction that's closer to us, the smoke jack would be further back and it would not blow smoke into the caboose through open windows on the cupola, for example. So it seems like that should be the end that's furthest away from the direction of travel, if that makes any sense. Maybe if you know about cabooses, you can enlighten us about that. I'd appreciate that. So looking at the roof, you can see that the walkways are separately applied pieces. And also the smoke jack I mentioned earlier, separately applied piece. And the walkway does have detail in it. So looking at the bottom, you can see that there's plenty of brake detail in here which is separately applied. And something else that's pretty cool about this is that I was able to see that brake detail from the side view. If you get a low angle on it, you can see that from the side view. And something else that's pretty cool going on here is that these are body-mounted couplers. Pretty amazingly, I think I could even read the printing in these little stencils here. This was built in April of 1942. The pad printing that they're able to do these days is pretty remarkable. Something else they mentioned on the website is that the trucks are 
according to whatever the prototype is. So they're going to some lengths to make sure that they're prototypically accurate. I think this is a really cool caboose. I like that they have different versions of the caboose for different prototypes. I think that's something that more manufacturers are doing these days, and my hat goes off to Atlas for making such a nice model. I'll see you next time.